Hey, 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 this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Saturday afternoon. I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to talk about, um, kind of weird, but this is a topic that I, I never thought I would actually do because um, I, I never had um, this stuff in my fish tanks before, and that is aeration. Aeration or bubbles or, or oxygen or air or whatever you want to call it, put added into a fish tank. I always thought, and it is true, as long as you have, um, what do you call that, live plants in there, you're going to get plenty of aeration and what have you. But I definitely have learned that uh, aeration, a little bubbles, really does make quite a difference in a, in a fish tank. So um, I'm going to do a little quick two-second thing uh, at the end of this video, show you my um, my home office fish tank. But I, what I really want to do is, is share with you the importance of aeration in a fish tank. So why is air, uh, in, why is aeration important in a freshwater aquarium? Again, since as you hear my name, Louis D. Fresh, I do freshwater. I'm only speaking about freshwater. I can't speak for so, uh, salt water. I don't know how that, if it's important or not important. But I definitely have found in freshwater aquariums that it tends to definitely be an important uh, element in your aquarium. And like I said, this is something that I've discovered probably over the course of the last year. I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna be talking about six, six reasons why. Number one, oxygenation. It does increase oxygen and is important for survival of fish, plants, and the bacteria. I'm a big fan of bacteria. Uh, they, it kind of breaks down waste and that's really a really big deal I'm looking here. Uh, at my uh, at the uh, fish here, how clear it is uh, with both the plants and the bacteria, and now the oxygenation. Uh, it definitely does it does make things more vibrant. Uh, so it definitely increases the oxygen level level, and it removes carbon dioxide because remember when the when it is nighttime, um, the plants they they spew out carbon dioxide and they take in oxygen, if that came out right. But um, there is lots of carbon dioxide in the water with um, freshwater, um, freshwater plants. And so they removes our uh, carbon dioxide and it improves the water quality. It really, really does. It, it definitely keeps the water, it sounds weird, but it keeps, it, keeps the water moving. So it increases the oxygen, the gas exchange. Um, it really keeps things flowing in a fish tank. Other thing here, uh, aside from your uh, filter, it definitely does keep water moving. It definitely keeps uh, things uh, moving around. I'm even looking, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, you see right here, you see that? You see that right there, the little dancing? See that water that's popping around there? That's, that is water circulation. <laughs> and it prevents stagnation and promotes... Uh, even distribution of heat and nutrients, again, nutrients of the of the plants and the heater, which is right. You see that that oh, is it heating right now? No, it's not heating right now. But see, there's a green light in there right there. You see the green light right there. And that is the heater. And those bubbles do indeed help the heat to to distribute properly. So and it also number four of six. Supports beneficial bacteria, helps break down waste, and supports biological filtration. So it helps the biological filtration, the filtration, and the breakdown of waste. Because your fish, your your everything, they they do produce waste, and so it helps to to that that beneficial bacteria can break down the waste in your fish. Number five. It reduces stress in fish uh, because they can breathe better. And honestly, that was the real reason. And I'm going to see if I could spot them. Uh, of course not. But <laughs> but if I could, I used, I have uh, puffer uh, uh, pea puffers, which I, I can't show them right now. I'm trying to look right now while holding this steady. No. The pea puffers, the ones this in this fish, in this little aquarium, is the real reason that really made me understand the importance of, of uh, because they were stressed out. They were completely stressed out. Even with the multitude of plants and what have you, they needed more air. And so it gives them, gives them, makes them more healthier, reduces their stress level, 
and um, when you have less stress you have happier fish so I can't lie that really was was very uh, instrumental to me putting that little air pump that's right there uh, in here to pr to promote promote that there's a there's a where is it? I guess find it there's an air stone that's right maybe I'll get up I'll get up and trip hold on let me get up there's a puffer now ah oh, he ran away these puffers are real I have four in here now I had one more there's a puffer there's a puffer I have four of them in there right now I'll explain the guppies in a minute uh, and then uh, you see there's a little air stone right there you see that air stone and that is connected to this and it goes right in there and it creates all of that all those bubbles there okay, sitting back down it also improves aesthetics and sound if you can, if you can I doubt you can hear the sound because of the my lovely air conditioner here uh, but the it improves the sound I don't know if you could hear it, but there are some, yeah, that it is kind of gives you a little zenish, a visual appeal, and creates a soothing sound and nice ambiance. It really does. If you look at it like here, right here, that's, it creates a nice. You see the bubbles there. It creates definitely creates a nice ambiance along with the filter and the light. I got my lucky bamboo, um, and I, I can't lie, it really really creates quite a quite a nice feel. So those are six reasons. I'm sure there's more. But I wanted to pick on six reasons on to to kind of do the reasoning behind it. And the and hold on. The reason is next time I wanna I wanna share my my two um my two? Yeah, my two. Really I'm gonna show you the mini ponds real quick too. But um the two big tanks, the two big um um community fish tanks that I have, I can't lie, it's made a world, a world of difference. Uh, the, the the fish are happier. They're they're quicker. They're they're more they're more vibrant. The plants are popping better. Uh, keeps everything cleaner. I I, I I never thought I would say, oh, you need an you need air in there, but you do, you do, you do. And so that's going to be my next video uh, to kind of just show you, especially those. And I show them in mini ponds too. How uh, how pretty they they really do. Uh, they they. They are, they are when you um, and I'll probably show it to you before I clean the fish tanks because I clean them today so in two weeks time clean them again so before I clean them I'll, I'll, I'll show them to you so it'll be very authentic and you see how, how it really makes quite a difference so this is really in essence part one of aeration before I let you go a uh, quick update here uh, as I mentioned uh, I have four I can't lie and either because one of my faults is I like to be really 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 honest I had I originally had seven pea puffers in here. Uh, I've had three over the course of a few months or whatever it is uh, jump out uh, because there is no lid and they are jumpers. And I, that's why now I have this horn wart. You see it around the the tank here. Look on the top there. You see it's it's more it's it's more sealed in on top. And and also the air bubbles do help to kind of create like a little field there to say hey don't don't go past that. But I can't lie, there was four, and for the longest time, I would, I, truth, it, I could go two, three days without seeing any of them. And so what I did, it's a win-win, I added some some uh, sort of, these, these are common guppies and, and endler guppies, this and that's an endler guppy right there. And um, two reasons, one is to add some movement, because there was, there was like no movement in this fish tank at all. And number, that was number one. And number two is because uh, they do breed prolifically, uh, every 30 days and so with the babies um, they wind up being a snack for the for the pea puffers and so I'm, oh that's cruel but you know what um, that we eat chicken beef and whatever it's part of the, the, the cycle so it's a win-win where it provides uh, movement and I also provide a snack for my pea puffers good if I press the right button you know so that was an update of my a little my home office. Um, I also have to share. I have to go um, do a, another an office office uh, video. My my uh, my fish died um, this past week, so I had to get a new uh, fish, Mr. Fish the Third, and um, I'll do a little video on him soon. Um, it is a half moon uh, beta, but I'm just kind of throwing it out there. So um, I definitely want to do one there soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. That's really, in essence, part one of aeration, uh, the importance of it. Um, and I, I really didn't think I did need it, but I do. 
and um, I showed it to you with uh, with the with the home office a tank, and I'm gonna definitely show it to you with my um with my two, especially my two uh, big community 75 gallon tanks. Uh, the importance of it um, because it really does keep it clear, keeps things moving, uh, breaks down the the waste. Uh, doing a little review um, keeps keeps everything uh, just 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 more alive. That's what I'm really trying to say. So I hope you enjoy the video. And like I said, I'm always learning. And um, this is Louis D. Fresh. Have a great day.